a teenager that's interested in making money because when I was 13, I made $175 per hour. And I'm going to show you how you can start your own business and make your own. Starting a business is not hard. It's actually really easy. But scaling it to a high profit business is the hard part. At the end of this video, you will have a business that could possibly scale up to $100,000 per year. What I'm going to help you build in this video is called a small business, meaning it's not like a big company, but it's a small business that can be operated by one or two people. Really easy to start. I've actually started three of them in the past. Not all of them have been successful, but one of them did actually make me $175 per hour. And if I work nine to five, that's $500,000 per year. The first thing you need to do is to find a product or service that solves a problem and also is easy and affordable to make or buy. For example, if someone wants to learn how to code in Python and you know how to code in Python, you could write up a book and you could teach people how they can also code in Python. By doing so, you are solving a problem and you're providing a high level of value. So you would teach them everything you know from beginner to professional. Now, when it comes to the way that you make money, there's actually two ways that I've found. And let me share them with you. The first way is called the funnel way. And that means that you start with a cheap product and progress to an expensive product. For the Python example, what you could do is you could create a book, very short, that teaches the basics of Python. You could charge $10 for this book. Then after the person purchases, you can recommend them to a better book, which teaches them more, and then more, and then more, and then more, until they finally get to the final product, which could be $100, which could be a full in-depth guide that has a ton of pages teaching you everything about Python. In short, the funnel way is a build-up process. You start with a cheap product and then you recommend them upwards up your value ladder, which means that the value gets more the more they spend. But there is another way. And that way is the focus way. With the focus way, what you will do is you will set a price, normally pretty high, and then you will work your hardest to provide so much value that it is worth 10 times what you're charging. With the Python example, what you could do is you could charge $500, then you could go out and provide as much value as you can to make it worth $500. So you could make a full guide to Python as a book, you could then do a video course, you could then also provide them with actual uh, examples where they could look at what's right and what's wrong. You could also do like one-on-one -on -one coaching with them. You could basically bundle a ton of products together to make it worth $500 but you would do whatever you can to make sure it is worth $500. In short, the focus way is more about making the price for the product first and then doing whatever is possible to make it worth 10 times that amount. You want to charge a high amount when doing the focus way. So if I was to do the Python example, I would charge $100 and I would put all my effort in every single day building up this bundle of things which will help solve this person's problem. The good thing about the focus way is that you don't draw people on to give them the full value. The funnel way wants you to start with the beginning and then they have to get all the way up to the final one just to get all the help. So it progresses slowly. As with the focus way, you provide as much value as you can right away. It's no stuffing around, it's really simple and it is very effective. After you've chosen one of these two ways, you can then base your products and services around your customer. Now, when you're creating your products and services, you need to make sure you're thinking like your dream customer. So get a piece of paper out right now, right at the top, dream customer, and then list everything about this person, their age, their gender, their height, their eye color, what they like, what they don't like, list everything. Because if you know your customer better than everyone else knows them, you will, you'll be able to make more money from your customer. Now that you've got your product, this is what you've got to do next. You need to learn more business techniques. So the first thing is cash flow. Cash flow is basically where the cash flows inside of your business system. So you'll be able to write out your business system and it'll show you where the people go, where the money goes, and you'll be able to work out what's working and what's not. The next thing that you need to learn 
is your dream customer. Go and look up what a dream customer is and learn a lot about it. Do the same with Dream 100, which is an amazing technique for growing your business fast, as well as funnels, and also the hook, story, and offer methods. I'm actually gonna cover right now what the hook, story, and offer methods are, because it's extremely important for this business in general. Hook is what hooks people at the beginning. So if I was to create a video, the first 10 seconds is what would hook you. Then you have the story, which is the next probably 15 seconds, 20 seconds. It provides value to you, makes you want to watch it more. And finally, at the end of the video, I could provide you an offer, which would be something maybe like subscribe or go and pay for my course. This is an example with YouTube, but it applies to everything as well. If a business isn't working or a funnel isn't working, it's because of hook, story, and offer. These three things are what determines the success or failure of your business. Next thing, which is very important, but I'll get you to go out and actually learn this yourself, is leverage. If you learn a lot about leverage, you will skyrocket your success with your business. Now that you have actually learned a ton of business techniques, you've got your product, you're all set, now it's time to actually start selling. First thing is to find a hosting platform. This means a platform online where you can then contact customers and sell your product. So if you have the book for Python that you're gonna sell, your little bundle, you would create a Facebook page, and on that page, you would then list your product and you would send all your traffic, all your customers, to this page, and then they'd purchase it from you. Of course, you can actually pay for proper pages and proper websites and URLs and all of that stuff. Good applications that are paid for are ClickFunnels, Shopify, as well as like, you know, I think Etsy is actually free, so you can use Etsy. There's a few other ones, but Facebook is a really good start point. Keep in mind that you want to sell online, but you don't want to focus all your attention online because the biggest profits will most likely come from local sales. Because with local sales, it's a lot easier to actually sell your products than online. It's so hard nowadays to capture everyone's attention and bring them to your page as well as find your audience in the first place. As with, if you go to a market and then you sell your book, everyone's walking past, everyone's seeing it, it's really, really, really good for a business. Sell online and also sell locally at markets, stalls, and other events. Once you have your hosting platform, you have that set up, now all you need to do is advertise to your dream customers and bring them back to wherever your hosting platform is. To gather your dream customers from wherever they are, first you have to find where they're congregating. This means, where are your dream customers? You have to find them. For online, you want to look around the internet for little communities who have this problem that you're trying to solve. So go to coding discussions on Discord, on Facebook, on all of these different platforms, on Reddit, post a link to your Facebook page, do whatever you can, but make sure you do that first. After you've promoted to these little communities which have this problem that you can solve, the next thing is to do natural marketing or natural promotion. This means go to social media apps like TikTok, YouTube Shorts, YouTube, Rumble, Twitter, Facebook, and just post as much content as you can related to your product. Film a quick little videos, there's AI tools that can help you with this, but you want to post to get more attention. So TikTok's a really good one. You can create a quick little video with some music in the background showing your book, maybe like an AI voice saying, check out this book, something. And people will see that, and all they have to do is click the little link in the description or the pinned comment, and they can then go and check out your, or your book. Now, this is how you can test to improve your business. If people are not coming to your hosting platform from all of your marketing attempts and all of your promotion attempts, what you need to fix is your hook because your hook isn't gathering the attention. It isn't capturing people's attention long enough for you to sell them the story. Because your story is what should technically get people to go to your page. If they go to your page, but no one's purchasing, the offer's not good enough. I actually have a tribe of like-minded people who you can network with and actually communicate with about business and self-improvement. Click the link in the description to go and check out my tribe It'd be amazing and it would definitely help you on your business journey. So I hope that this video has helped someone. I hope this provided a lot of value to you. 
and I really hope that this is going to help you to build your own business and to make your own money. I started my own business in the past and it was successful, but I didn't really enjoy the work that I was doing, so I've stopped it. I'm working on a new one now, which will make about 600 grand per year by the end of this year. So I hope that you found value in this video and keep up the good work.